We're back with the coin game, but I forgot something very important. My letterbox D today, log movie, name of film, High Fidelity, directed by Stephen Frears, year 2000. I give this a 3.5 out of 5, and I click the heart. I've seen it before. Uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as a, as a teenager. I was like, this movie speaks to me. And I enjoyed it equally but differently as an adult. When I was like, actually, Rob is not, not my friend Rob, but the character of Rob is a, uh, it's kind of a piece of work. You know, you get, he's sympathetic in some ways, but definitely as a, as a teenager, I was like, this guy is like in some ways sort of like aspirational. As an adult, I'm like, he's got to get his life together, bro. Also, John Cusack is crazy. I have no idea how old he is. I couldn't tell you. But I could tell you, thank you, so sorry, so sorry for the gifted subscriptions. Much appreciated. People love the coin game. Hopefully not just because of the character models. We'll be playing as this guy right here. Um, and you know what? Let's rock something like that. Choose this guy. Uh, let's let's load into birthday mode. <laughs> Bluth banana. Thank you as well. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know John Cusack's age. To be honest with you, I can't. I can't place it. So I feel like he is in high fidelity. He's like thirty-two, and that came out twenty-three years ago. So I guess I would say he's fifty-five to fifty-six. Thank you again, so sorry, so sorry. Thank you, thank you. He's 57? Maybe I do know how old he is. Maybe I, just, I was just too lazy to do the math. Okay, I, I'm not going to um, this birthday anymore. We were just here the last time we played this three months ago. I have to go to Yemen. I'm an analyst. New text message. Happy birthday, kiddo. I need to go to the fair. Can somebody tell me how to get to the fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Hey, bro, it's the bike lane, dude. The carnival, I mean. This shit is a damn low rider. You gotta use your map? Okay, I'm going to guess it's the Pier Fairgrounds. This is going to make me throw up. This is what I'm saying. A lot of you guys, you probably couldn't handle two hours on the Peloton, quite frankly. You know, this is what it's like. This is a scenic ride in the Islandville Hills. It's beautiful. It's stationary. Not if you're watching Hardcore Henry while you pedal. Hey, hey, I rode around Stanley Park. That's pretty based. That's also why I don't ride around Stanley Park. Nobody's getting king of the mountain on Stanley Park. We got too many tourists on rented bicycles. Denman Street's all clogged up. You would not catch me. Hang on, hang on, hold. It's instantiating. It's reticulating spleens. Island time amusements. Island time amusements. Squeeb. Honestly, th this is capturing something for me right now. Imagine being like 17 years old. It's August. You're going to college in like two weeks. It's the failing light. 7.48 p.m. And you're meeting your friends at the carnival before you never see each other again. At the end of the night, you give each other hugs and you say, you know, good luck in college. I'll make sure to keep in touch. You will never talk to, to them again. The smartphone has not been invented yet. This part of your life is being popped off the stack and deallocated from memory. And you know what? There's a sense of freedom in that. Enjoy it while it lasts. Let's go to the coin dozers. 20 coins for $5? What is this? Tokens have no real value. These machines are not regulated in any way and are most likely a scam. 
Can, can they turn off the explosions in the sky? It's getting too... <laughs> it's too emotional, bro. Okay. So this is like a fake gambling addiction. I don't want that one. I don't want one prize credit. I want something with three prize credits. I'm just leveling with you. I don't know what I'm doing. Press space bar to stop pusher. Why would I ever want to stop? Oh, because when you stop it, it drops more stuff that helps you push? <laughs> what the hell is this, man? I've got a minigun? What are we doing? I can stop the pusher, but like, for, for what purpose? Just click? Oh, I put my own tokens on the thing. I see what you're saying. Little bro never played Nintendo Land. Okay, we, we can get to this two piece. You've never been to a carnival? Honestly, I never played like these um, dopamine Stockholm Syndrome games. I always played like the ones that are quote unquote skill testing, even though those are also rigged. Jay, I'm coming for those high scores. Don't even worry about it. Hopefully I can get a higher score than uh, <laughs> the Devils got in their game last night. Holy cow. I mean, we lost to the Columbus Blue Jackets, so I'm not really in a position to flex. At least it was in the shootout, though. And we at least scored some goals. Come on, man. We got the injury bug. I feel that. Not my ass being late because I had to run to the pharmacy to get some kids' mucinex. Excuse me? Things that have never happened in the history of physics? You can spam click? How to lose your life savings in five seconds? Oh, baby! It's so close. By the way, it's only out of respect for the good people of Ohio. Many times last night, um, some Columbus Blue Jackets fans trying to get a rise out of me. I imagine it was like their third win this season, so they, they wanted to pile on a little bit. They said, um, hey, NL, sorry we beat your team's ass last night. And I was so ready to get in there and type something like, can you believe that, you know, Calgary lost Johnny Goudreau? Columbus gained Johnny Goudreau, and then the winner of that whole debacle was the Florida Panthers, a completely different team. Not related to it whatsoever. But I said, you know what? No, let them have their little victory. Columbus, you know. They got a long way to go. Let's just put it that way. Enjoy the, the shootout win. And the Browns game next. Oh, so, no, I mean the Bengals game. I mean, the, oh, sorry. I mean, the Ohio, at least Ohio State did really well in college football. Oh, my God. Who won Major League Baseball last year? That shit was like three months ago. Nobody remembers, right? The Texas Rangers? Yeah, yeah. And, oh, the, the, the Guardians did a great job of defending their uh, recent World Series uh, crown. Right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Man, fuck you. Hang on. I think I lost my life savings. Pick a prize. I guess me personally, I'd take a, a plush fish pink. Oh, I don't have enough. I guess in that case, I'll take a carny mirror. Ooh, great choice. Got one of those in my what was that, like $100? All right, that game, not a winner. My two cents. Sorry, customer service is out of order. This is like every business uh, during COVID and then in this weird, muddy post-COVID period. They're like, sorry, all the good stuff in the store, we had to close it uh, during COVID. Now it's 2024, they're having like spit in my mouth parties. They still haven't started serving salads at McDonald's again. What is like, is there a, a run on lettuce or something like that? I don't understand. They're pulling a Rahm Emanuel. They're never letting a good crisis go to waste. I don't know if I'm cut out for this, man. <laughs>
Oh, I probably have to uh, pay the toll, right? Hello, sir. You're not real. You're not real. Okay. All right. All right. You're... Uh, hello? I'm trapped in the bumper cars. May I... Don't you know what? Oh, you know what? Right here. There we go. No ride pass. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to exchange some of my infinite money for a, a, a token, please. All right. Didn't think we needed all these extra steps, but it is what it is. I'll tell you one thing for sure. You will not catch me getting on uh, whatever the heck this is called. The Tilt-A-Whirl. This is a recipe $1. for... One roll. Just it easy. It's a recipe for vomit. Okay. Now this is my game right here. I used to play this at the Napanee Fair all the time. If you haven't seen this game ever before, the bowling ball rolls down. You have to give it enough of a push that it settles in this little valley right here, but not too much of a push that it goes up the hill and gets too much momentum and rolls back down to you. Okay, you just gotta give it a, just a good, okay. Negative one FPS, we take those. I'll roll again. That's one dollar well spent as far as I'm concerned. Oh! Again. Just wait until you see those clubbed fingernails. That's it's perfect. It's perfect. I'm actually a god. I, I'm I'm mad that I beat it so fast. Like I mean, you you kind of gotta be a piece of work to play this game more than once. I mean, like, what more do you need? I guess we'll go one more time. <laughs> oh, you gotta get two in a row, otherwise it doesn't count. Okay, I'll, I'll accept that challenge, motherfucker. <laughs> Get the hot dog? I don't, I don't, no, 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 I'm, I don't want to buy anything yet. I want to stack up my credits, bro. I want to get something good. You never, you never buy something for one credit when you could get like 10 credits. There's one. That's a gimme. Double it and give it to the next guy. Oh, sorry. I said no. No, I'll be I'll be staying. This machine's hot right now. I'll be staying here for a while. Motherfucker. <laughs> you know what they should bring back? Those online flash uh, bowling games, where like you and your friends could go pick out like a lane and then digitally bowl with each other by using your mouse and keyboard. That would go so crazy in the modern Twitch era. This is it, not elf bowling. That's, it's, it is not the season. Tower Unite. Okay, I guess Tower Unite really is what I'm talking about. That would explain why I love Tower Unite so much. Too hard, that's way too hard. Yeah, I'm talking about like those Yahoo games or like, you know, Pogo.com or whatever. My grandpa would always go on there and burn like five evenings a week playing virtual slot machines that didn't even have real money. And then you're like, why is he doing that? It's not even for real money. Now we're here in 2024 and I'm like, thank God it wasn't for real money. My grandma would be freaking destitute, bro. I think it's a little too hard. You ever play candy stand golf? You hearing this music? Are you seeing this frame rate? That's a win right there! Okay, two or it doesn't count. Oh! <laughs> it was 
like one pico newton away. This music is amping me up, bro. Hey, in the uh, 2002 movie Reign of Fire, after they kill that dragon, yeah, that's what I've been watching. I, I watched about 85% of that on the Peloton after High Fidelity ended today. After they kill that first dragon, they play um, Light My Fire by The Doors. Do you think that that is playing in the movie for the benefit of the movie viewers? Or is that actually playing like in their fucking medieval castle on like some kind of sound system? Like I, at no point do I see a speaker or anything at all. But I guess maybe they could have like, you know, scavenged some from the ruins of like post Dragonfire London or something. Yes, it's diegetic. What the hell does that mean? Diegetic Junior, much better than Kristoff. There's one. Reign of Fire is fucking ass. I'll tell you, I have like 31 minutes left in the movie. I've seen it before. It's getting a 3 out of 5 plus a heart on Letterboxd, okay? Why? Because it's ass in the best way possible. First off, insane cast. Christian Bale, Matthew McConaughey, Gerard Butler before he got all roided up for 300. But quips before quipping was way overdone. Secondly, it's actually like one of the... the it's like if it was an anime, you would all tell me to watch it. You're telling me there's dragons in the air. The way that they kill them is they fly a helicopter higher than the dragons, and then they skydive on top of them without parachutes to trap them in a net. They can't just shoot them... They, in, in the movie, they literally are like, the, the weapons of war, man, built, don't work on the dragons. Like, they, they drop nuclear missiles on them, they hit them with ICBMs and stuff like that, and they're like, no, no, that doesn't work. The only way you can kill them is by skydiving on top of them with a big net. Meanwhile, Matthew McC McConaughey is driving around England in like an old World War II era tank. Better than the creator? It's way better than the creator. That's a given. Okay, hang on. I gotta don't distract me. I gotta go two in a row here. That's too hard. His name is Quinn Ab Abercrombie. Quinn Abercrombie and um, Gideon Van Zandt. <laughs> the two most, the most British name of all time and then supposedly the most American name of all time. Gideon Van Zandt. Yes! Also, I don't know who they had writing the dialogue for the kid at the start, but it's so good. He walks onto like a, a drilling site in London. And they're like, he's 10 years old. And they're like, Quinn, working the night shift, are you? And he's like, someone has to clean up after you, bastards. Then he gets on the elevator. And um, like some miner, like a, a, someone working in the mine is smoking a cigarette. And they're like, you want one, Quinn? And he's like, you know I only smoke when, I, when I'm drinking. And I'm like, this is the, the most like CEO of banter 10-year-old that's ever been on film. I got a soft spot for Reign of Fire for whatever reason. At least it has the audacity to be ass in a in a cool way. Please! Don't for it! They frame jumped me! They frame jumped me! The physics bugged out. Why didn't you like the creator? Can I say something without people getting mad? I'm not totally sure that John David Washington has the sauce to be a leading man. I don't like dislike him as an actor, but I feel like he's kind of like, I've never seen him, I've only seen him in Tenet and in The Creator. And I feel like in Tenet, it sort of worked because um, you didn't need like a magnetic leading man performance. The movie was compelling enough in its own insanity. But in the creator, I was like, the man is just, uh, I don't know. I don't know if he's got the magnetism. But it, it might just be, it might just be the movie. I'm not trying to hate on the guy specifically. Uh, 
Look. What's the objective of this mini game? First off, that's a derisive term. This is literally all they had in the Victorian era. People were buying the battle pass for this shit. Secondly, the point is to get the bowling ball into this little divot without giving it so much juice that it goes up the ramp and gets too much momentum and comes back down. It's the hardest game ever made. There's got to be something better than this to play. Yeah, let me guess. Hey, and you got to play backshot roulette. I already played that in the high school locker room growing up. And I don't want to go back. Please. That's, I'm done. I'm cutting my debt. No. 100% of gamblers quit before they win big. This is my last attempt. Oh, that's a win. Oh, fuck you, bro. I don't, whatever. Keep your credits. I don't want your, your funny money. Ben Bernanke. Okay, I'm not going on the vomit machine. You gotta be in some place in your life to go by yourself to a virtual carnival and be like, mm, I'm gonna eat funnel cake. <laughs> that is, that's a cry for help. I, I was like, yo, what's this game? It's just the damn bowling game again. Three shots, five bucks. Well, that seems like a good deal. Three shots for five bucks. Okay. Oh, they've even got the three-point challenge balls. Okay. Ray Allen. <laughs> Fucking bricked it, bro. Okay. Steph Curry. Air ball. All right. Um, Shaquille O'Neal. I'll go again. Yes. Kevin Durant. <laughs> it's so bad. You look like current Clay Thompson. I don't watch uh, bad teams, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> that one had some sauce on it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? We're only in for 15 bucks so far. Dude, Steph Curry? Oh, he could clean up on this thing. They should make like an Apple TV movie about um, an ex-professional NBA player who goes around the carnivals hustling them and then selling the, the plushies on eBay. Oh, what the, you, this is... You got the rim too tight, man. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have any suck on it. Okay, a little lower. A little lower. I'm just going until I get one. Oh my! This. You know what the thing is? They don't have lefty flip. I am uh, I'm a left-handed shooter with a right-hand stabilizer. So this, like, it just doesn't feel right to me to be launching with the right hand. <laughs> Moon ball. Yeah, the ball feel is not right, man. I think they put a couple of, a couple of weights in the ball. We haven't even really come close, man. Oh, we touched the rim. That should be like one ticket. Nobody else play this, okay? Nobody, it's a scam. They have like funhouse mirrors set up to fuck with your perception of distance and arc. 
Can we talk about how Better Call Saul got robbed at the Emmys? Bro, I was seeing all the Emmy news come into my Twitter feed last night. How many Golden Globes do they do in a year at this point? Didn't they just do a, an award show where Joe Coy bombed? Like, that was like three nights ago. And they're like, fuck it, we run it back. Please. That was the Golden Globes. This is the Emmys. The Emmys are like the um, pitchfork top 10 of the year for TV, right? I don't want to call them the Oscars. But wait, no, no. Oh, well, I don't know. Whatever. Congratulations to the bear. I'm sure. In succession. Elton John completed his EGOT. Joining the likes of such illustrious uh, celebrities such as Whoopi Goldberg, who uh, won a Tony for Sister Act the Musical, uh, an Oscar, of course, for uh, Ghost, I believe she won Best Supporting Actress, a Grammy for, uh, I believe, a comedy album she did, and an Emmy for Best Daytime Talk Show Host Ensemble for The View Season 37. still counts. I think Whoopi gets it on a technicality. The daytime Emmys are, are not the same pedigree as the primetime Emmys. Oh! Now, I'm not saying she doesn't have the sauce to get a real Emmy. I'm just saying the one from The View should count less than winning, like, YES! <laughs> than winning, like, you know, best actress in a, in a primetime drama or something. Oh, I'm on fire now. Two in a row or it doesn't count. Double it and give it to the next guy. Oh! I'm out of here. Step right up. One and wins. This shit is like set it and forget it. It's, it's not even manned. It's just like a money vending machine. Head on down to Jerry's gas and go right off the self service pumps. No chunk. Balloon time. Okay, so every step right up. Every one of these games is a scam. Don't get it twisted. Everybody who works at the carnival is a snake. I mean, these carnies are shameless. How is the balloon game a scam? Because they give you the darts, and these are just balloons. They're painted bricks. <laughs> Maybe like dull darts and the balloons aren't inflated that much? Or they're made of unobtainium? Dude, the carnival's a scam. I spent like 80 bucks on this. Why are you holding the dart like that, bro? Can I at least have like a crosshair or something? Oh! You aimed for that? No, I aimed for like one that was three balloons down. Oh, what? That doesn't even make physical sense. I'm going until I get three. Huge. Huge. What? It's in the it's in the balloon, bro. We go again. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. 2003's Underworld with Kate Beckinsale is way better than Rotten Tomatoes would have you believe. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. Um, that movie is is garbage, and the best part of it is the David Bowie song "Bring Me the Head of the Disco King." Underworld, one of those uh, one of those movies. I can't believe they made like twenty five sequels. See, folks, I didn't mean to buy something. I meant to go click done. Uh, Come on, folks, step right up. Oh, you got a death wish, brother? Let's 
go. Who wants to be a winner today? I'm not eating any of my high high value balloons. Three bucks for three dots. You're insane. Pop one dot and you're a winner. Come on, folks, step right up. You're a scam artist. Fully automatic rifle. Winner picks any prize. Shoot the star and win the prize. 100 shots for $5? What is this? Freaking Walmart? Shoot, shoot this star. I, kn I know this one. You gotta knock the star out. A little spray control would go a long way. Bro, that's... is the easiest win of my life. Hey, alright, let's get this baby loaded up for you. I was wrong, he's insane. Whoever made this one was very generous. My hand's so shaky, dude. I gotta get some funnel cake. this I'm going full auto all right make it make sense because that time there's uh, like a huge peak right at the top of it but whatever I'm inclined to think that maybe the carnival kind of sucks ass, man. Not the, not to blame the developers. I mean, like, whoever developed the original carnival. One duck for two bucks. Can you quack? Can you quack like a duck for two bucks? Can you spit in my balls for good luck? That's it? <laughs> Someone in chat said, this game fucks. Really? This is what you go to the carnival for? Here's two dollars. Use your hand to grab a duck out of the river. Not a winner. Holy cow, it really gets the blood pumping. <laughs> oh, man. The carnival's a damn scam, bro. It's like when the grocery store puts squishmallows in the checkout line. What the hell? It's the same duck. It's an awfully yellow quacking bellow. If I don't win a prize, I'm gonna bellow. Which one do you think? I, I, I think it's the one that's last in line right now on the lazy river. You have to take the least spinning duck. The least spinning duck has no weight on the bottom of it. Or has some weight on the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true. These guys are all spinning. This guy is like as straight as an arrow right here. This is a three-star Andy. It worked. Find a non-spinner. I'll tell you, this one is like ricocheting like Matthew McConaughey in Interstellar. He's, he's moving too fast. He's not weighed down. You guys are all spinning. You're all spinning. Nobody's going their own way like uh, Lindsey Buckingham. No, no, no. This isn't ours. You got to wait for your shot. You got to be patient in this game. This guy, he's going backwards. I knew it!
quit while you're ahead. Plus, I only got three bucks left in my pocket. I gotta go to the damn the the money game. It's so weird to me that some human beings like the feeling of being dizzy. Like it just shows you that we're all different. Hang on, I gotta take this. Hang on, I gotta change my DPI. Thirty two hundred, please. Pretty nice. <laughs> Great job. You won fifty nine dollars. When you come in second place on a reality TV show. Am I right, VIP Daniel? Bro, why, why do we have to introduce, like, an extra card into the situation? Why, why can't I just give you money? It doesn't make sense, because what do I use to buy the ride pass? I use money to buy the ride pass. It sounds like they are telling me to go shh. I understand. Island time Step raceway. Right up, folks, and test your race crab. Okay, here we go, folks. We got ourselves a race. New Kovacs aim trainer just dropped. Me trying to piss on the Disney cruise. Me training for my role in the orchestra. I play first uh, urinator. Did I win? Who won? They just made like 30 bucks on this game. <laughs> you came in last? I got a token, bro! There's no pity tokens in the other games. Put me over here so I can at least see who wins. That, what is it, pick a duck? That one, that one's cursed, man. I, I can't, I have to play this one? I have to play number five? Here we go, folks. We got ourselves a race. Hang on, I use my good eye. It's been down literally ninety eight percent of the time. Yes. <laughs> I do it for the love of the game. I'll go on the damn moon missile if I can figure out how to get some ride tokens. You know what it is? It's job creation. Because now I can go use my money to buy tickets. And this guy gets like uh, to pay his rent as a result of that. Eight ride passes? I only want one, man. <laughs> I only want one. The carnival fucking sucks, dude. Why was I so... What do you mean I got no ride passes? You forgot the tickets? <laughs> he just dropped them on the ground? Service with a damn smile. Hello? Can I... I guess I'll place them into my inventory. What is... That's an Isaac sound. Am I losing my mind? No, you're right! That is the sap noise! That's the sound of, like, a, an animal uh, eating chocolate. Like, gaining experience. Holy... Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm such a fucking loser. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell are we doing, man? Is that it? I'm just... I don't understand what we're doing here. <laughs> Why do we go down so slow? That's just like a, an elevator, man. That's, <laughs> you just go up? I'm... Oh, sorry. Exiting the ride now. I'm out of this. What the hell is this Joker gas, man? So that sucked entirely. This is so embarrassing. How do carnivals still exist, man? I guess because kids are dumb, right? Like when I was a kid, this was like, holy cow, the carnival's in town. <laughs> the <laughs> I think they put me on upside down, brother. How do you stop this crazy thing? <laughs> oh, whoa! whoa. Holy, this thing's no joke. Anyway, I'll be exiting the ride now. Yeah, sure, just like start sending those fuckers around at like 30 miles an hour while I'm still on it. I'm trying to walk out. No big deal. You're such a baby? What do you mean? I'm so, it's just like, I don't, I kind of don't understand what I'm doing here. I'm not going on. The tilt the world's going to make me throw up, man. I can't, it'll ruin the rest of my day. I could go to the ice cold beer and live music tent. Yeah, I'm I'm old. Let me in. I paid my dues. It sounds like a damn party in there. Play the scratch offs. Maybe that's the way we save it. Like as a kid, I loved uh, bumper cars. But I feel like the only reason I like bumper cars as a kid is because when you don't get to drive, driving seems like the most fun thing in the world. That's why at the arcade I would always gravitate towards like cruising USA. I'll be like, whoa, steering wheel and pedals. When you drive every day, you don't want to play cruising USA. You're like, this thing handles like a piece of crap. It handles like a Toyota Yaris. All right, I guess I will, let's buy some scratch tickets. First though, I'm gonna play money game so I can really afford to get some seed money. <laughs> By the way, can someone check the weather for me? Cause I, I this is copium. I simply don't want to believe it. I checked the weather forecast for Vancouver last night. One of the weather forecasts said tonight we could get 25 centimeters of snow. I can't possibly convey to you how apocalyptic 25 centimeters of snow would be in this city. Last week we got uh, three centimeters maybe, and there was a lot of ice so it got like really really icy like really slippery but like it was bad 25 centimeters of snow would actually paralyze the city for like two weeks it says up to 20 centimeters i'm trapped so i'm just uh changing my my tube For the Americans, that's seven and a half feet. Yes. Uh, uh, fluid feet. Okay. 
Where do I buy uh, scratch tickets? I'm going to assume the gas station. Can we do anything at the mall? I mean, I've been to a mall in real life. I know the answer is no. Food court. Island Time Sweets Company. Let's go on in. I think that might be the difference, the actual cultural difference that delineates Zoomers from Millennials. Millennials still had mall culture, at least where I grew up. You could, as a teenager, you could be like, let's go hang out at the mall for a couple hours. I think we were just chasing the dragon that kids had in the 80s, in the Stranger Things era. But definitely in like the early 2000s, the mid 2000s, you could still go to the mall. PBR2! PBR2! My friend's hangout spot was a McDonald's because there was nothing else to do in our small town. POV, your friends are um, 82 years old. No disrespect. This shit looked like Victoria for real. This store freaking stinks, bro. This is the damn flux capacitor. Oh, sorry, the fun capacitor. 8950, have you lost your mind? $100 crystal skull? Spunky's $99 light swords? It's like more expensive than they are at Disney California Adventure. Spunky's salt lamp. Spunky's hoverboards from the future. UFO toy model. Oh, I didn't realize, to be honest with you, that like, we were actually making a killing at the damn carnival. If we play balloon game, we could get an orange fish for like 10 bucks. We're not paying 50, 59.50, excuse me. I thought that said fight pussy wishing well. I'm not trying to be vulgar. It's just something to do with the font like broke my brain. It, it, to, it, my, even just with my vision slightly blurring, it looks like it says eight pussy wishing well. Do you see it, or have I lost my mind? Have I had too many Coke Zeros today? Like, what the hell is Fight Rust? Oh, fight, f help fight rusty joints in aging bots by don't... What is this? One dollar per wish? R slash oddly satisfying. <laughs> what are we doing, man? They got to come out with a, with a new 10 out of 10 roguelite. I, it's Tuesday. <laughs> We're in for the long haul, man. I'm watching a virtual coin go around the fucking toilet. What am I doing? No wonder every streamer just does react content where they like scroll through TikTok and they're like, oh, I know what's going to happen. Oh, he just, uh, the kid hit him in the nuts. I'm glad that's not me. They got it figured out, man. Oh, Mall jewelry store. That's a classic. Arcade. Okay. Candy crazy. Sneaker bot. Oh, it's the Christmas season. Hello, Santa Claus. The back rooms. Islandville Cinema? Buttery Betty. Colonel Connie. This is too Canadian coded for me. Chat, did you know Canadian chatters? Did you know Americans have no concept of who Colonel Colonel is? The um, military popcorn who makes sure that all of his soldiers get eaten before the movie starts. I know, it's so embarrassing. They have no idea. 
for real? I'm telling you, they don't know. They don't know anything about the Scotiabank Theater's uh, Colonel Colonel. Your indie films from your computer's hard drive? <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I paid $2.50 of virtual currency to watch my own Super Auto Pets video, bro. Mm, that looks good. Golden Eye Popcorn. Can I get a shoulder harness for my XL popcorn, please? Please try it. Okay, but I don't want you to see everything that's on my hard drive. So if this shit opens a file browser, I'm going to be pissed. Well, can I, get for you like a big winner? I would like to get an indie film. Okay, I'm just gonna take this off the screen for a second. Though this is like we're just getting the previews. Pretend you're watching like a commercial for a, a, a Jeep Liberty or something like that. I'm handing my ticket to the, the, the ticket taker and I'm progressing to my cinema. I'm taking my seat. It's kind of embarrassing, there's a lot of people here. Are they ever gonna start playing a movie? Maybe I have to go up to the screen. Just give me a second, chat. I'm going to figure it out. I think you have to put it in a specific folder. You might have to put the file into the game folder. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Normally I wouldn't do this, but this is how cooked we are. Okay. How about, um, if nobody got me, I know the shark got me. We're going to copy that. I'm going to go this PC. C. I mean, I paid for it, too, so I want to see it. Program files x86. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Hacker voice. The coin game, which I'm going to assume is in C. Maybe it's not in C. The Chat, I can't find it. <clears throat> oh, here we go. To watch a movie from your hard drive, place an MP4 video in your documents slash devoted TCG videos folder. Documents. I don't see devoted, unfortunately. I think maybe they have, maybe that's an incorrect path. You have to make it. Well, I want to make sure that that's the, the target file path then. You have to make the folder. <sighs> then I got to probably restart the damn game, right? This is crazy, man. Place an MP4 video in your documents devoted TCG videos folder. Probably not. It's like two clicks. If it works, otherwise it's two wasted clicks. The coin game watch movies. I just want to make sure I got it perfectly right. The coin game at Taco Bell. The coin game, how to watch MP4. Place an MP4 video in your documents. For now, it will only play the first video in the folder. In the future, you can watch back-to-back -back movies, but for now, the limit is one at a time. You may need to create the TCG videos folder if you have not already. You can just place one indie film spot from the theater kiosk and the countdown on the wall next to the pricing will start. 
Take your seat and the movie will start immediately. <laughs> okay. Documents devoted TCG videos. This is so not worth it for a small joke, but let's do it anyway. Devoted. I spelled it wrong. That's why we always check. Because it's spelled right or it's spelled wrong to begin with. So I spelled it right, which is spelling it wrong. New folder, TCG videos, subfolder, paste. If nobody got me, I know the shark got me. <laughs> okay, hang on. Theater One Indie Film Status Movie in Progress, bro. What the hell? What do you mean, movie in progress? They're gonna make me reload the damn game. I know it. Is it because you need my ticket? Maybe uh, I'll buy another one. Purchase. Hey there. What can I do for you? Paying $2.50. Steady, it's already in one minute. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, everybody relax. This is about to get so meta, even this acronym. Worst seed? I don't, I don't like to sit at the front for a number of reasons, but I like to have people in my peripheral vision because then it's like I know that I'm in a place with other people and that's part of the thrill of being at the movie theater. Bro, get away from the screen, please. He's literally, this is where, like, one of the animals in the shop is going to be. <laughs> what the hell? It's the cops? Oh, that, that tingle in your stomach when the lights turn off? You know you're about to witness art? Watching the Super Bowl on Canadian TV be like, Grab some snacks while you sell your life savings to me. 555-555-7885. Bro, you're blocking the area code. Love to have your business. Barry buys anything. It sounds like Corey during um, Patently Stupid, the Jackbox game where you invent a product. Why am I so nervous? <laughs> I'm like, oh, here it comes. My own voice playing Super Auto Pets. This thing I play all the damn time anyway. <laughs> Say, hey, the, the projectionist okay? This cost me 250 bro. This is no joke. Shit's uh, empty, bro. <laughs> oh, this is the worst two dollars and fifty cents I ever spent, man. What a waste of everybody's time. <laughs> oh, dude. Is it even, is, do I, yeah, I recorded an MP4, I don't know, maybe it's a codec issue. Are you really going to make me run it back? I don't know if I can do it, man. Please restart. <sighs> if it says empty again, I'm, 
I don't even know what I'm going to do, <laughs> to be honest. It's in, I'm, I'm being legit with you, okay? It's in devoted TCG videos, spelled right. The right capitalization. It's in, it's in documents, devoted TCG videos, TCG underscore videos. It is an MP4. I can't speak for the codec, but it is an MP4. Consult Google. That will not be happening. Rename session? No, just, just PC load letter, bro. We got one more chance at this, okay? It needed to restart. It's gonna work now. If I need to start a whole new campaign, it's not happening. We will be going and playing the dolls. Check if the file name has spaces. The file name definitely has spaces. But isn't this like a, the sort of thing that Windows figured out in like 1991? Like when it feeds into another piece of software, it just uh, adds like a, the ASCII value of a space or something? Absolutely not. Well, too bad. I can't believe I got to ride my ass back to the damn shopping mall, bro. I don't want your text message. You have been reset <clears throat> to your last known position. <laughs> have I? My last known position, I appear to still be uh, right where I was. So I guess technically that's true. When you try to fast travel home after the party, but then you get a pop up on your HUD that says you can't fast travel when there's enemies nearby. <laughs> Gulp. Right here, please. Squeeb! <laughs> oh! Randomizing the coin pusher tables one time! It's like when the old ladies used to get mad at me for uh, shuffling too much in Euchre. Lady, you need a stats lesson, okay? Please, for the love of God. Indie film. Status movie completed. Please come again. No, no, no. I'll go to the... I'll wait for the next show. Starts in 60 seconds. Well, you know what? We got time. I definitely want a snack if I have to watch those ads again. Let me get an ice cold uh, pirate punch and a bucket of popcorn, please. Holy! I, I mean, I gotta have the drink, too. Three bucks is a damn bargain. I'd be stupid not to buy it. You still got 27 seconds. Where's my pirate punch, bro? Oh, thank you. Service with a smile. Hello. This time is definitely going to work. This time. This is like me trying to watch Zone of Interest. Oh, when you time it perfectly. Bro, where's my inventory? I got the snacks, but now I can't figure out. He, he didn't even depress the seat, man. Jerry's gas and milk. Lotto snacks, soda and scratch off. Cheapest fuel in town. Oh, Jerry's a little shy. I don't know how Batteries. to open my inventory. Jerky. I Lotto dare not snacks. hit escape. It's not I. It's not space. It's not tab. Jerky. On sale today. Zap. Lithium batteries. It's, it's not Q. Now. 
Jerry's got it's not F, which is something? crazy because that was the item to add them. Just pretend you're eating it. Me eating the popcorn? I'll just eat a little bit. I won't eat it all during the trailers. Mindlessly eat for six minutes during the trailers. Oh, I'm already halfway done. I might as well finish the whole popcorn before the movie starts so I can focus on the movie. Hey, Cool Nathan, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Have you ever met Cool Ethan? Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you. Don't do this to me. Don't say empty. Hey, everybody. Yes. Mr. Ten Pieces back. Do ranked? No, that's all right. I already clicked the button. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, how about, how about a little bit of this? And a little bit of that. Horrible start. See, what are we doing here? Something. Let me be like a grotesque sausage. I should have been. A grotesque sausage, sausage is pretty good. You could take that it's in. pretty good. We're well, cooked. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I didn't expect them to have shooters. How delightfully honestly. cromulence. Great use of the tennis ball. You, you have my respect. Librarian, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Wait, thank you, please. thank you. That's not really what I was looking for, brother. <laughs> I think... What is this guy doing, ballast, man? So we don't lose this round. That's why I'll take a beetle, because it has a little bit of a... Uh, has some built-in protection at the end of it. At least we got the trumpet first. That's the only thing that matters. Good shot, kid. Do it again. Uh, we still got screwed. It, it the, freaking the, froze. Don't up against double tennis. You know what's crazy? Like, How does anybody follow this? It's just not conducive. I recorded it, and I can't follow what the hell I'm saying. It's a shame we can't take both of you, because you would go really well together. But we'd, we'll definitely go guinea fowl. Good choice. That was big this weekly. And I remember that. How about one of these, just in case the guinea... Yeah, but you gotta unfreeze the, the pied tamarind, man. Hey, Dom Toretto, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Holy cow, I thought we had no chance. <laughs> I thought we were screwed from the get-go. Now, you're quite tempting here. Understand it might make more sense to do something like that. How about something like this? What is, what is this, this guy team doing, has man? No long -term future, so it really I, hey, has Jeff the Flying right Shark, thank you as well. Thank you. I just got a... a guinea fowl. The guinea fowl you guys really enjoying this? You having a good time? Packed house? This is about the viewer count of the average Super Auto Pets video in the modern era, too. But it really, it feels like more complimentary when you get them all together in one room like this. Like, it really helps you visualize the kind of reach you have. <laughs> I just can't, I can't stand that, to be honest with you. It's just, I'm, I'm glad, they, that'll keep them occupied for like 21 minutes in there, but. Oh, man. We now have an idea to pass the Chibli. Chibli's like a crazier version of me. He might put Zone of Interest on an MP4 on his own hard drive and then watch it in the coin game with his chat. It could happen. Okay, I will play new games in the arcade, but they've got to be new games. I don't want to see any rehashes, okay? Oh, well, you know what? There is always this old chestnut. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. The frame rate, the, it's the frame rate, guys. It makes this impossible. I think your movie keeps on playing. I hope so. I paid 250 for it. <laughs> we go again. Whoa. What if you just... Oh, okay. 
I thought maybe you could just spam it. Focus. Hold. What the hell? Why, why was there physics on this? Oh my god. Like it's getting compressed at the bottom, man. I would settle for a small prize. 